Hello everyone, my name is Harinder Jangra and in this video I am going to show you how to configure client push exclusion method in SCCM server. First of all, you have to understand what are the prereq to configure client push installation method. So, uh, at least one service account you have to add, you have to configure in client push installation method that have admin rights of every client machine that you want to, where you want to install SSM client as well. Let me show you my current infrastructure. This is my SSM server and I am using SSM current branch 1902 and I didn't configure uh, for client push installation method in this uh, server and I have two machines one is Windows 7 and other is Windows 10 so I will configure client push installation method and I will show you how to install SSM client again in client push installation method you have two methods are available one is automatic and other is manual so you can configure a client push installation using automatic method as well as manual method so what is the use of automatic automatic means when any machine is discovered by SCCM server and you can see that info machine information under all system device collection so automatically SSM client agent installation process will be start and your SSM client agent will get installed automatically. You don't need to do anything manually. And the second is manual. For example, you have discovered your SSM has discovered client machine and now you can see those machine information in all system device collection. So automatically your SSM client package will not get installed you will have to select those machine and right click on those machine and click on install client then only SSM client agent will get installed so let me show you how we can configure this currently you can see I don't I didn't install SSM client agent in this machine so you have if you want to configure client post installation click on administration expand site configuration click on sites client installation setting and click on client post installation First of all, we have to configure. Uh, we have to uh, configure at least one account. So click on Accounts tab and click on Start, and click on New Account. I already created a account with the name of SCCM Admin. SCCM Admin. So this is a domain user, and make sure this account should have admin rights of every client machine. Click on OK and provide the password. Don't click on enter if you will click on enter and suppose that you have entered wrong password so it will accept but it will not work. So to cross verify your account username and password is uh, both are correct. So click on verify button and provide any shared path. So my DC machine name is L95DC and every DC has uh, two shared folder by default net logo and ensures work. So you can provide any and click on test connection. If your connection is successfully verified then it, it's ok. Click on ok apply. Now click on general tab. Now we are discussing about uh, automatic and manual method. So if you will click on this enable automatic site wide client push installation it means you are configuring automatic method when any client machine will be discovered by your SCCM server so after some time automatically 
a process will get start to install SSM client agent on that machine. But if you don't want to install SSM client agent automatic, then just unselect this and click on OK. So uh, now I'm just checking this. Now you can choose system type as well, where you want to install SSM client agent. For example, if you want to install SSM client agent on server OS, then you have to mark this option. Workstation means uh, where your uh, client operating system is installed in machine, like Win 7, Win 8, Win 10, Win XP, Win Vista, or any other client operating system. And the third one is Configuration Manager Site System Server. It means where uh, any server where you have installed any site role of a system server. So if you want to install a system client agent on any system server as well, then you have to mark this option. And the, there is a, one another option, never install the configuration client agent on DC machine. What is the use of this option? If you a Microsoft recommend you should not install SSM client agent on DC machine. So, but in case if you want to install SSM client agent on DC machine, then you have to choose this option. Always install the configuration manager, configuration uh, manager client on DC machine. Otherwise, if you will select this option, you cannot install SSM client agent on your Active Directory. Okay. So this is my test info, so I can choose this. Click on apply and click on OK. So now I have configured manual method. So if you don't want to configure manual uh, automatic method, I'm sorry, I have configured automatic method. If you don't want to configure automatic method, just unselect this and click on apply and click on OK. So now, Click on assets and compliance, click on device collection and open right click on your all system device collection. Click on show members. So we can see L95CL means the same machine where we installed SSM server. The SSM client agent has been installed already. So client, uh, you can see client is showing yes and the, this is the logged in username. This is the site code and client activity is showing active. If any machine is showing none, no uh, and under client activity it's showing blank or inactive. It means client agent is not installed, okay? So we have two machines, L9507, L9510, where we didn't install SSM client agent yet. So now let's try to install SSM client agent using client push installation manual method. So this is my machine. Right click on this machine. I, I want to use manual method. So right click on this machine or you can select more than one machine. Just press uh, control button and select other machine and select multiple machines and right click on this and click on install client. So as of now, I just want to install a system client agent on Windows 7 machines. So right click on this and click on install client. Click on next. Mark this option, always install the client software. Mark this option if you want to uninstall existing one. For example, in your Windows 7 machine, if the already uh, client agent is already installed and if you want to uninstall first and then want to install, you have to choose this option. But I don't have any SSM client agent uh, installed on the machine, so I don't need this option. Mark this option, install the client software from a specified site. Select your site. Next. Next. 
and click on load let's come on our windows 7 machine open your task manager and click on process show process Now we can see the CCM setup.exe process is running. Once CCM setup.exe process will get stopped, CCM X process will get start automatically, and CCM X will be responsible to communicate our CCM server. Okay. How we can track this? Like what's going on? Open C drive windows CCM set. Logs and you can read this log file CCM setup. Starting dot start. Let's read this log file from our site server so that we can use CM trace tool. I'm just browsing that machine L95 hyphen 7 C donut. Okay, what's happening? Is something or let's try to open this machine. It's getting thin. Let's try to browse this machine using IP address. Okay. Through IP address it's uh, connecting, but through host name it's not getting connected. Okay, so open Windows folder, CCM setup and logs and read CCM setup program. Now we can see there is no error. Some type of error is generic and you can skip those errors. And then SCM is client agent still is installation is in progress. You can track this now it's installing VC reduced exe. We have to wait around 5 to 10 minutes. So once it will complete this process, you can see this information. After installation of your SSM client agent, just open control panel and you can see the configuration manager icon is here. As of now, we cannot see that option because our SSM client agent installation is in progress and it didn't complete yet. So we have to wait around uh, two to three minutes. Let's track this. One more thing you have to make sure the account that you have configured for client plus installation that account should have admin rights so how we can cross verify that particular account have admin rights in this machine or not so let me open uh, users active directory users and computers I have configured SCM admin user so when you open SCM admin property or any account property that you have created for client plus installation, click on member of and check. Currently, I have added this uh, user in domain admins group. So by default, it will have admin rights of each and every client machine that is joined into domain. But Microsoft doesn't recommend you should not install you should not configure 
domain admin account for client post installation so for example you have created a normal domain user let me for example you have created client post let me show you click on domain member of and now you can see this is not a domain user okay so now how you can do this uh, how you can add this into local admin groups in each and every client machine so go to your client machine and open local users and groups in client machine click on groups click on administrator and click on add and add your user or you can add any group and you can add that user into particular group so that next time if you have to give admin rights to any second service account or any other service account so easily you can add that service account in particular uh, domain groups so you don't need to add that again and again so you can add that group so i have created a tech team group and you can add this group into this machine currently it's showing uh, 69 because uh, the this machine is logged in with a normal domain user and this domain user doesn't have rights to add them so let's open local uh, users and groups with the different users so ssm admin have rights groups administrators and So now tech team have admin rights of this machine and every member that that is the member every account that is the member of tech team group will have admin rights of this client machine. So you can use this method as well. Now let's try SSM installation is still it's in progress and now you can see our dotnet is installing right now Let's wait two or three minutes. Uh, guys, I'm just pausing this video. Uh, now we can see the installation process. Will get proceed away. It's still installing all the component, pending component. And if you will see the last line, CCM setup is exiting with return code zero. It means you have installed SSM client agent successfully.
is still in progress and it will take and it will take one or two minutes more Now we can see a CCM setup has been stopped and the CCM start services starting services. So CCM X service came and now it will be start and CCM set uh, CCM setup process service will get stopped. And finally we can see CCM setup is exiting with return code zero. And we have successfully installed SSM client agent in this machine. This is a error that uh, is for fallback status point as as we didn't configure fallback status point. That's why uh, this error is coming. So come, let's come on our uh, machine, and now we can see system setup process is not there, and system X has been started. Open control panel. And now we can see the configuration manager tab is here and you can see client certificate is not uh, there and the version is there so just wait for some time once you your policy will get first you should see the client certificate should get and uh, your management point name and your site code name should come in this machine Currently, we can see there is no site code. It didn't pick any site code, certificate, and management point name. So, we have to wait and we can do one more thing. In between, you can read one more log files uh, on client side Windows and CCM and logs and client ID manager startup.log. So client ID manager startup dot log will show you like what's going on. So once uh, your client machine that what is the serial number of this machine, what is GUID, all things will get updated in SSM database. Then you can see all the action came in control panel in this machine and site code certificate. Everything will be there. So just wait for some time and uh, monitor this log file client ID manager startup dot log. Now uh, it's slipping for 60 minutes. Okay. Client is not registered. Sending registration request. Yeah. These are the details of this client machine like uh, what is the MAC address, buyer serial number, port serial number, everything and the host name. It will register all things in SSM DB and after that you can see all actions in con configuration manager tab. Yeah. Now we can see the assigned management point has obtained in this machine and 95 CM. And the client certificate is still not uh, registered. And the site code it has obtained. This is the version. So just wait some more time. Uh, yeah. And receive notification for site assignment. Yes, change from none to your site code. Okay. After some time, it should get certificate as well.
once your SSM client agent installation is successfully, this machine will send the state message to SSM server and SSM will add status from none to active and just open your uh, SSM console and open click uh, click on SSM compliance open all system device collection now we can see still it is it's showing no just try to refresh and we can see client is showing yes and but uh, client activity is not showing active so just wait for some more time and you will see the client activity uh, will also be active great so it has obtained certificate as well now we can see it has obtained self-signed certificate site code and management point name and click on access some more tab is here and we can see so let's come and take a look files yeah it has completed this process okay and uh, just try to refresh within one or two minutes it will show you as active and this was the manual method if you want to use automatic method just simply click on the automatic option administration site configuration site client installation client process installation and mark this option enable automatic site wide client process solution if you will mark this option so what will happen you don't need to right click on the machine and click on install client like every time when any new machine search in search from active directory you will have to right click on the machine and click on install client so if you enable automatic site wide then you don't need to right click on the machine and you don't need to click on install automatically your SSM will install a SSM client agent on discovered machine but the condition is your machine should be discovered and uh, your machine should be in boundary means every configuration should be properly right in my second video you can see what are the possible region to get fail SSM client agent in this video i have shown you like how to configure client post installation method that's it thank you guys for watching my video if you want to get the update of my new videos just click subscribe my channel thank you